I was about to fight Hype.com with me. I got UFC King, Mr. Rashad Evans. Uh, how's it going, my man? It's going pretty good, man. Good to see you out today. Um, it's not a UFC event, it's a boxing event. What brings you out? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm working with CBS, so I'm doing a little bit of coverage for, uh, you know, for them with the you know, build up for the fight. This is a very unique event, and I'm going to call it an event because I'm, I'm a boxing fan, I work in the boxing media. Um, two years ago, the beef started, Conor McGregor calling out for the with them, so we didn't say much. No one thought it would happen. Six, seven weeks ago, we get this announcement that Floyd Mayweather is going to be fighting Conor McGregor. First question, are you surprised the fight is even happening? Yes. Yes, I am. And uh, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think that uh, Floyd would even entertain it. But as time went on, I mean, it was just something that materialized. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Obviously, you know about MMA fighting. You know when, you, when you're in the octagon, you you got the ability to use your whole body. You can do whatever you want in there. In the boxing ring, you just got your two hands. How difficult would this chain or contrast be for Connor from using the body to now just being able to just use the hands? You know, I, I think uh, starting off, he should be fine with it. It shouldn't be that difficult. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens when he gets in those pressure situations, you know, where he's where he's under attack or where he's 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 just got to allow instinct and reflex to take over. You know, I don't think he's going to I don't think he'll kick or nothing like that. But I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's going to do a little bit of the stuff that we do in MMA, with maybe grabbing the head and, and, and pulling up, pulling on the neck and things like that. But uh, I don't think that he'll totally come unglued if he gets uh, in those pressure situations. Floyd Mayweather, 49 and 0, has literally faced every single style in boxing. Yeah. He fought boxers, he's fought people who are come forward punches, people who fight on the back foot, people like Maidana who gets rough and dirty. What does Connor have to do differently and what has what can he show Floyd that he hasn't ever really seen before? He's gotta make it a fight. And that's one thing that, you know, um, you can say why the other boxers they lost because you can't box with Floyd. There's no boxer on earth that's ever that's that's good enough to box with Floyd. But you can fight. You gotta make it a fight. And when I say that make it this the distinction between boxing and fighting, when you fight, there's an emotional component to it where you make mistakes, where you may open up and cock it back from here and don't use fundamental technique because Part of that aggression is through emotion. That's when you gotta fight. You know, and that's one thing that people, their, their biggest knock on Floyd is, you can watch him go 12 rounds, but you don't see him fight. You know, people wanna see, a, when they see a fight, a boxing match, they wanna see a fight. So, if Conor can make this a fight, then his chance will go up dramatically. In the, in the octagon, octagon, you use four ounce gloves. It was announced that it was going to be 10 ounce gloves, but it's now going to be 8 ounce gloves. Will that have significant difference for Connor moving up in kind of weight in his hands? And will that affect his power? Yeah, it's going to give him a lot more confidence. It's going to give him a lot more confidence in, uh, in being a thorn, a thorn of punches, you know. It's going to be giving him a lot more punches, I mean a lot more confidence in getting him to uh, open up a little bit. But at the same time, it can work against him, you know. If he's, he's a puncher and he knows he has that power, is he going to punch himself out? trying to hit that elusive target, you know, and I think maybe that's why Mayweather was open up to the idea is that, um, you know, the, the thing on, the biggest knock on McGregor is the fact that, you know, he comes out hard, he comes out, and, and, and but, he, but he gets fatigued if he doesn't get you within the first round or the first couple minutes, so then you're dealing with a fatigue, uh, Conor McGregor, then it's easy pickings from there, and that's been the biggest knock, that's what, that's what I think, Boy, Mayweather is maybe counting on by even even entertaining the fact with those eight ounce gloves. What's the prediction? What's gonna happen? Uh, I think it's gonna be Floyd. As much as I love Connor, as much as I love what he's been able to do, um, I just don't think that Connor's had enough time for one to prepare for somebody like Floyd Mayweather, and uh, and for two, you know, I, I don't think that um, like Floyd, Floyd Mayweather is the best boxer of all time. I don't think that McGregor can compete with the best boxer in boxing. 